Hey guys, welcome to my video and today we're going to talk about how to pass your GAIAC certification. So, sorry, <laughs> I messed it up already. Your GAIAC GCIH. There we go. In 2024. Yes, it's official. I got it right here. Uh, let's verify just in case you're lying. This is screen up. Oh, uh -huh. Actually, you're not lying. Um, and there we go. Knocked it out, right? So I'm going to give you the exam. No, I'm not going to give you the exam answers, but I'll give you some tips and some things I learned throughout this uh, journey right and how i got to this point um let's see i'm doing it ad hoc so i really don't have a structure guide but please bear with me let's first break down um gcih right let's break down gcih real quick show you guys something real quick gcih and let's go to the home page right so gcih it is a from my knowledge Pretty well known certification in the SANS GAIAC catalog. Um, the exam format, we're gonna get to that later. Um, just get that, but let me just show you the content. GAIAC, think of the GAIAC uh, GCIH as a melting pot of different, different cybersecurity fields malware analysis, SQL injection, uh, you know, this, this is so much, man. So, uh, cloud enumeration right many stuff in the course that you'll you'll find uh very informative shout out to joshua wright he's the author of this course and very high quality now again later on in the video i'm gonna talk about how i study and what were the best methods for me and i'll, I'll share that but guys guys so that's the GAIAC gcih homepage. again for those action how did you afford it i was sponsored by tanisha martin from black girls hack shout out to her and check out the syllabus there we go that's what i was looking for the syllabus yes this is the syllabus dude <laughs> the course is very very deep right so look at it at your own time um very very deep course <sighs> amazing quality i one of the best qualities i've seen thus far in my small tenure in cybersecurity. right um again if you are using a mac like myself uh you, it, it won't work right i'm actually using the m2 mac the, as you can see right here right uh, about this mac i'm using m2 mac it just won't work so what you want to do you're going to need an actual uh windows machine so luckily i have a, one right next to me and i was able to do the labs on that all right um another thing i want to show you guys real quick before we jump into the main meat and potatoes um actually backspace a little bit cyber live guys this is no <laughs> joke this is the main reason i almost almost failed my exam right I, I did amazing on the multiple choice knocked it out the park i felt super confident when i got to the cyber lives questions <laughs> dude i got bodied i got humbled right i had to take a pause like i was facing kid and ball win it, it was crazy bro this cyber life stuff is no joke and i'll give you some i'll give you some inside knowledge and how to really do well on these cyber lives but that it it literally felt like i was taking two exams right a multiple choice one and then a technical one crazy all right cool let's jump into let's start with the first portion real quick i want to talk about the exam and then i'll talk about how i study for exam so i'm doing it a little bit backwards again proctored exam um shout out to my proctor luckily i was able to do the exam in my dining room uh, I'll throw in some clips of the table I use because there was no way I was going to have nine books on some freaking small table, <laughs> right? It, it was impossible. So yeah, I was able to do it on the, in the dining room and dude, I'll, I'll, you, hopefully the clips are going by right now. It was amazing. Uh, 106 questions. Again, most of those are multiple choice. I won't give you the exact numbers on how many cyber life questions you'll get, but you'll get a couple. And these are worth major points. Do not think you could crash out on the cyber live and ace the multiple choice and feel you're, you're not gonna pass. I guarantee you're not gonna pass. You need to you need to do well on the cyber labs, right? If you do poor on the multiple choice and do poor on the cyber, you're done, donezo. Guys, this this is not a joke. And what's funny about it? I was looking on Reddit up and down for tips and. How do people pass it? And I think I saw a few folks talk about the cyber life. I really, really wish I took more, took it seriously. 
for my exam because that really I, that really threw me out bro and we'll talk more about that uh four hours right it's four hours long roughly i did three hours for the multiple choice one hour for the cyber live again another mistake on my part i i, I just wasn't prepared right and a minimum passing score of 70 i believe i have a i think i have roughly a 71 percent uh so i barely made it right uh yeah let me actually show you my cert attempts or certifications yeah came out with 71 barely made it right and yeah i think that's confirmed now let me actually show you this real quick i think we're done with the the main page right hopefully you guys got some insight on that the exam format again proctored i took it remotely had a great proctor i actually had three proctors right i used all of the four hours and they were switching out like on some shift stuff um so that was pretty good let's talk about my the index guys the index saved my life now i'm gonna throw in some clips of my personal index now i have i made three iterations roughly they had roughly you know 600 rows and entries i'm gonna show you how i made it so the first iteration i won't go through all of my sheets but the first iteration uh consisted of me going through the books all nine books once i actually yeah i indexed the ctf now i didn't do the ctf to be honest i'm not really a ctf person um i don't, I don't think that's really applicable for the work i do um so i just indexed the ctf and the lightning labs and all that stuff i index all nine books Right again, this is the 2024 edition, nine books. Um, so that was my first iteration. The second iteration, let me actually show you this real quick. If I go to, I have so many tabs up. Let me show you this real quick. The second iteration I made after I did my, I gotta log into Sans. The second iteration I made after I did my practice uh, test. Now let's talk about the practice test a little bit when it comes to the Sans uh, GCIH. The practice test is amazing. Now I have a habit of well, I'll show you this real quick. Log in. I don't know why it's so hard to log in, but let me show you this real quick. So if I go to practice test, you may see, oh, I still have an extra practice test. Guys, I, I didn't want to do another four hour exam. That thing was tough. That thing was tough. So that's going to be in combination 12 hours of lab time. I couldn't do it, bro. I just did one. Okay, I'm good here. What did I mess up on? Um, and I'll jump to the final exam. So let's talk about the practice test real quick. I took one. I use all of four hours. Now, the thing about the practice test that differs from the actual exam, it, they're quite similar as, uh, you know, very, very similar. Hint, hint, even the cyber live stuff is like, wait, hold on. I could have sworn I saw that before. Crazy. Do not miss out on the practice test. I'll do a special giveaway at the end of this video. Stay tuned for that. Um, now, the practice test actually shows you your incorrect answers. Yes, as you're taking the practice test. So I quickly index all of my incorrect answers and put that in my index right and you'd be surprised many of that stuff was like oh damn oh yeah <laughs> if you get it you get it I'm like, what i i just wow okay um so that's that um great exam and it yes the practice test does come with the cyber live uh virtual machine exams so crazy value it's not just multiple choice and you want to get cyber live on the final exam no 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 Practice steps comes with that. Uh, let me show you an example real quick. Uh, let me see if this is, is this the third iteration. Okay, this is my third iteration. Now everything you see in NA, that was for my practice test. Yes, I indexed the practice test. Everything in NA was from the practice test, meaning you cannot find it in the book. Uh, although it's referencing the book, I didn't know where they got it from the book, but I indexed it from the practice test, if that makes sense. So I saw a question on this. I'm like, okay, let me index that. All right, so a little, little small hint there. Um, another hint, right? This is my third version. You want to index the workbooks, the lab section. So, um, you know, section one through three and then four through five, for those that have the books, um, you want to index those sections uh, heavily, right? When it comes to the commands, I'm telling you, Cyber Live, again, I'm not going to talk too much about Cyber Live. But remember, the course comes with over 30 plus exams. All of that is testable in CyberLive. You don't know what you could get, right? You might get a lab that you're not even familiar with. Damn, I never practiced with this. Man, I wish I spent more time with X tool. Man, I wish I did more practice with this command. So the best way to go around it, don't make the same mistakes I did, right? actually do all the labs me personally I didn't do all the labs 
I only did some of the laps I found interest in. One of my favorites was Mauer. I think that was on, I think that was section four, the Mauer analysis. That was an amazing lab. And there was another lab as well too. I really The volatility lab was dope as well too. Um, and some there's some others as well too. But key thing, key thing guys, index this, the workbooks heavily. Those commands will come and play. Remember, if it's if it's four hours, that's roughly 240 minutes. You have 106 questions. That's like correct. We could do math. We could do quick maths right here, right? 240. That's roughly two minutes per question. <laughs> two minutes per question. Now, obviously, you'll be spending longer with CyberLife, so. Guys, you want to lock in on that, but guys, time is of the essence, right? Uh, let's see what else I could talk about. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have anything else actually. I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, do the read their book, do the labs, index heavily, use time management, make sure you have a great workspace uh, or testing environment. And yeah, I, I, I think that's it. <laughs> I really think that's it. I don't have anything else. Yeah, nothing else. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video informative. I know I was everywhere. Uh, I just wanted to get it out, put this ahead of me. I have more things to aspire to. But yeah, good luck to those that passed their GCIH. Um, and yeah, knock it out the park. And oh, we have the giveaway for the practice test for those that want it. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to enroll in this giveaway, all you have to do is type, I'll show you what to type, type this right here, Anarchist, type Anarchist, hashtag Anarchist in the chat, add a little comment and put hashtag Anarchist. Now, if you're wondering why Anarchist, I'll show you why. Uh, this is a sidebar. You guys don't have to watch this portion, but let me show you why Anarchus. Uh right here. <laughs> it's one of my cool labs. So yeah, hashtag Anarchus. I'll probably look at the chat. I'll probably look at the chat in a couple days and I'll just pick a random winner. Um, you need to have the hashtag Anarchus in the comment section. And then I'll give you the practice uh, exam. Now, if you fail to accept the practice exam, I'm moving on to the next person. I had the issue with the GFAC, right? Folks were not responding to the message and I had to move on. And then they respond a month later and then they're, I can't help you then. Other than that, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Fun fact though, if you guys don't remember, you guys can leave now. <laughs> But if you guys don't remember, I actually, when I took my GFAC, right, back in November 5th, that's when I first started my bachelor degree in software engineering, right? Ironically, I am at 71%, yes, for my bachelor degree right now in software engineering. Let me actually show you that real quick. I just thought, I just thought it was ironic, right? Let's see. And there you go. 71 percent right that's the same score i got on my gcih crate and i started this degree back in november so yeah looking forward to go full time on this with gfac out the way knock this out and yeah keep up the good work if you got any questions let me know in the chat or in the comment section i'm thinking this is a live stream and yeah good luck you guys have a good one peace